Hey folks, Jer here at The View with your Leeds news for the 11th of January. Hope you're all having a really good day. Uh, my one a week, if you're a fan of the channel, if you like what I'm doing here, if you like the daily news, uh, you can subscribe and support the channel if you would like to. You don't have to, but you can. It helps me out. Um, going to get into the news today. There's a few bits and pieces floating around. We're going to have uh, an update on the signing for the Leeds women's team. Uh, a couple of exits, a few exits from Leeds on loan and permanently linked as well. A new midfielder from France has been linked with Leeds this morning and last night, as well as the latest on the Jorginho Rutter deal and what's been coming out so far. So we'll start off with talking with the Leeds ladies for a second, and they have completed the signing of dress Jess Rossio. I hope I pronounced that right, uh, from Lincoln City. She's 19 years of age and has had an amazing season, 12 goals in 14 games for Lincoln, which has gotten them to second place in the Division 1 Midlands table. Leeds are around about mid-table in the Division 1 North table, have a couple of games in hand, and Jess coming in there will definitely definitely help them with more firepower as well. Keep saying it, these ladies have a decent season this year, win their games in hand, they're right back in the mix at the top end of the table, adding a, adding a really good sign in here as well. So uh, best of luck to Jess and best of luck to the Leeds women's team going forward. Uh, moving on, let's have a quick chat about potential outgoings. And according to, and excuse me again on this, El Desmarque, hope I got that right. Um, and James Marshman has been sharing this as well on Twitter. Much easier name to pronounce. Um, Junior Ferpa could be set to leave Leeds. According to both people, Real Betis are said to be keen on bringing Ferpo back to the club where he made his name. This comes on the back of Aston Villa looking like they're going to sign uh, Betis left back Alex Moreno and they see Ferpo as an obvious replacement for him to come back in. I don't think just many Leeds fans would, would complain about that. What I will do, and I will say and balance it, Junior Ferpo's a lovely bloke. He seems like a really nice fella. It comes across really well on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I had a bit of a pop at the decisions about playing him and your day on Twitter during the week, but it's not a personal thing. Just to say, um, as an attacking player, I've always thought Junior Ferpo's a good player. He's got a great cross on him. I think he's probably better as a wing back or as a winger than he is as an out and out fullback, defensive mind, fullback. Uh, huge question marks over his defensive capabilities. Um, but, Potentially looking at a move away from Leeds and back to Betis. The player himself is said to be keen on the move, and you can't really blame him for that. So that's that one. Other moves and other players looked at they could be leaving Leeds. And according to Joe Donahue, Leo Hjelda could be on his way to Rotherham. Uh, Rotherham play a back three, according to um, Joe. And they're looking at Hjelda to fit on the left-hand side of that back three. Hjelda is primarily a centre-back, just in case those I get people get confused because he's been playing left-back for the under 21s at times and for the first team, but he is primarily a left-sided centre-back as well. Um, he's very young. He has plenty of time and he will be a really good player. I've no doubt about that and will be a good player for the Leeds first team given time. These loans are important for these kids. There's no point in sitting on the bench or playing under 21 Division 1 when you should be playing at a, at a more competitive level. So I never have an issue with that at all. Also interesting, Harrogate Town are interested in Max Dean. Max has had a pretty decent season for the 21s, but is struggling to break through into the first team. There is a huge list of people that are currently ahead of Max and not from a want of trying and um, gives everything for the 21s when he does play for them. But it looks like Harrogate Town could be on the move to sign Max Dean on a permanent deal. Dean's contract does run out at Leeds in six months' time. So that might be some of the reason before that. Moving on to the big stories, and uh, let's get into the first one. Uh, Seco Fafana, and according to French outlet Media Foot, Leeds are interested in signing the RC Lens captain. Uh, Fafana's having a really, really good season this year, 27 years of age. So he's slightly above the age group that Leeds normally go for in that bracket, but might be an important player to add some experience in the midfield. Mateus Click leaving. It's a very young Leeds team currently, um, outside of one or two people. It'd be nice to get that in. He did have a spell in the Premier League before, played for Manchester City, didn't make any competitive games for them. He was playing at a younger age before he moved on to Udinese and then has subsequently moved on to other clubs and, and RC Lens. And they are sitting second in the table in France, and he has eight goals in 16 games for the team from midfield, which is great. He would add an awful lot of uh, strength and power to our midfield, like I could definitely say. He's a big guy, strong player, and um, has been capped eight times by the Ivory Coast as well. So full international, another captain coming in. You look at uh, Max Vober or Verber coming in. He's a captain. It just adds more leadership to that group of young players. And these are the important signs. These are the ones that I said before about um, the Dave O'Leary team when they had all the young players there and they brought in the likes of Jason Wilcox and Mark Faduk. And there was a couple of other older, more mature heads that came in to help them out and, and really push them on. This is still only very much a rumour at the moment. We still don't know if Leeds are seriously considering buying a midfielder, but it looks like they may be moving on from Unahi. said that Napoli have bid £26.5 million for Unahi, who is 
he prefers a move to Napoli to stay and in Serie A then coming to Leeds. He's made that pretty clear. So Leeds might be moving on. The fee for Fafana is said to be in and around £17.5 million. Not a huge amount of money, but Nice and Monaco are also said to be very interested in the player as well. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there on that one. Um, I do think we need another good option in midfield, another competitive midfielder. So I'd like to see that when you're done. Fan is a good player. It'd be a really good shout to get him in. Um, and then moving on to the final story and the one everyone's really interested in. There's not a lot. It's gone quiet, hasn't it? Everyone's getting a bit worried on Twitter. It's got a bit quiet about Rudder. Uh, according to German outlet Swede Deutsche, or Sud Deutsche, um, they're saying the deal is done. And then they're saying that Georgina Rudder to Leeds is completed outside of his medical. And what they've said is Leeds are looking at signing a five-year contract with a player. A fee in the region of 30 to 35 million pounds is said to have been agreed. And it could cost Leeds up to 52.9 million pounds by the end of the when you add in all the add-ons or potential add-ons. They may never get to that fee, but it potentially could. Um Going off the Cody Hackpo deal under the Kettler deal that Leeds tried to do in the summer, you would be surprised. There's lo- just loaded Champions League clauses in there as well to get up to that. But um, could be a big move for Leeds. Exciting player. Be interesting to see when he comes in, what he does. I think at this point, Leeds is bringing these players in and getting them into the team as quickly as possible as well. We saw Max Ferber at the weekend coming in and playing in central midfield. You really want to see him coming in and playing in defence straight away. Same with this guy. If Rudder could, does come in and gives you an option on the three behind the one or as the out and out number nine as well. I personally think he'll play probably wider. And there's another option between Somerville, Nanto, Sinistera, and Jack Harrison as well. So it's an interesting one. There's a lot of stuff happening today. It could happen as early as today. It could it could delay slightly into tomorrow. Um, there hasn't been anything from any official sources, so I will take this with a pinch of salt that the deal is done and dusted. Um, but again, according to Sway Deutsch, they reckon Leeds is a five-year contract and a fee between 30 and 35 million pounds has been agreed. Um, <clears throat> just in case of getting the medical done now. Today, tomorrow, and then trying to get the signing done. And um, at this stage, coming in from Germany, it's probably unlikely he'd be available for the Villa game on Friday. If they can get it done today, you're looking at probably two days clearance. Today's watch today's that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It'd be tight, all right. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, and that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the moves today. Leeds ladies signing a really strong striker to add to what they've got. Some outgoings, Junior Ferpo heading off. Looks like possibly Leo Held and Max Dean also on the move as well. Yeah, to that, that Joffy looks like he could be going to multiple clubs in the championship are now interested in him. Swansea and Wigan are said to be interested in him with a couple of others as well. And then the possibilities of Seco Fafana coming in after deal for Jorginho Rutter is complete. Fingers crossed on all these go well. Um, and that'll be pretty much it for me today, guys. I want to say just a massive thanks, as always, for everyone who watches the channel and supports us. If you like it, you can like, check, like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you don't, you just fancy watching, that's absolutely okay as well. I will be back tomorrow morning with more Leeds news and hopefully a completion to the Georgina Rutter deal. See you.